hello there my name is Neve, and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here i upload videos twice a week every tuesday and every friday so you should always stick around and subscribe and if you are subscribed make sure that you have that little notification bell turned on so that you get notified every single time i upload a new video today's video i am going to be giving you some tips on how to get started with your own youtube channel if this is something that interests you definitely keep watching i'm just going to be giving some personal advice as to how I think I could help you if you are thinking about getting into YouTube, setting up your own channel. I just, I don't know, I have some some ideas so I said I might as well share them with you. So if this is something you'd be interested, definitely keep on watching. Right, have my notepad already. So let's just get right into it. Tip number, well not even, I wouldn't even say this is a tip. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. More than likely, you are the only thing stopping you from getting started. Like, yeah, you could be coming up with, oh, this excuse, this excuse, whatever. But ultimately, if you were too afraid to start, that's the main thing that's stopping you. More than likely, it's you, your own head, your own overthinking or something like that is what's making you not want to start it. I know I kind of would go on a lot of breaks <laughs> throughout my like throughout how long I've been filming. I've taken a lot of breaks and it was always just that I was so worried of people in my life finding out about it or people I kind of know finding out and saying something to me but ultimately it was always me. I was always the obstacle stopping myself from restarting again. So it's just all you gotta do, I have a really itchy armpit, but once you admit that it is you yourself that is stopping you from starting then you're ready to get going basically <laughs> number two is you don't need any fancy equipment to get started you really really don't you can definitely find a cheap camera out there if you have an iphone i'd recommend using your iphone i know like most laptops come with editing software installed like if you have a mac you have imovie which is perfect I know Windows have Windows Movie Maker, don't they? I don't know how good or not that is because I've never had a Windows laptop. Does iMovie for your phone? Like you can get started with really, really, really basic equipment. And yeah, they're not, your videos aren't going to be like this amazing high quality, high production thing, but that's okay because you're only getting started. Just get into the groove of things, you know, figure out how you film, figure out how you like to edit and it's okay that your videos aren't going to be these amazing things like as i said you're just getting started it's all about just getting going and actually getting things filmed and uploaded the main two things you need i think are something to film on something to edit on that's that's all you know <laughs> that's all you need the next thing is that obviously you need to be passionate about this you need to want to really do this because you love doing it and that is that's you know, I started, I started because I used YouTube as an escape from reality and I then just wanted to be another person putting content out there so that I too could be someone's escape for a little while. That's kind of the main reason why I started and now I just genuinely enjoy it and I love capturing memories, like especially with vlogging. I just love having so many things to look back on. Would I enjoy making money out of this? Probably because who doesn't enjoy making a bit of extra money, but ultimately my goal is not to make this a job or make this my income stream, whatever. Like I really enjoy doing this and that's what you need to do as well. You need to enjoy doing this. Like don't do this because you see that people are making money from it. Like that's not, that should not be your motivation to start. You should just genuinely want to do this or you you have a purpose as to why you want to do this you have a certain topic you really want to talk about or really want to share things on that that should be your motivation you should just really really want to do this and just just have have a love for it you know number four is don't worry about having a niche um i feel like if you look at a lot of the kind of how to start a youtube videos um a lot of them were like find your niche like make sure you niche down you're gonna niche down or you're gonna grow if you niche down blah 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 i don't i don't like this whole niching thing i don't i don't have a niche i would say because i just i want to capture memories i want to talk about whatever i want to talk about that week you know i just want to do whatever i want to do and i just want to say don't don't think you have to find your niche and what your niche is going to be before you start a channel 
just start away maybe you'll fall into a niche kind of automatically maybe you'll be like me and still don't have one and don't plan on having one um but i would just say don't don't think you need to have a niche and don't let it discourage you from starting because i personally don't think you need to have a niche in order to start tip number five is try not to perfect everything because you cannot as i said you know about like getting just the basic equipment like your quality doesn't need to be amazing from the get-go it doesn't need to be this unbelievable style video unbelievable style editing like your your videos can only get better <laughs> do you know what i mean like when you look back at my first videos i full <laughs> you know it's it's funny to look back on but don't like don't film your first video 10 times because you don't like how your hair looks you don't like how you're you did your makeup that day you don't like what you're wearing like film it get it up get it out there and move on you will learn over time what you do like what you don't like you will learn to become more com confident on the camera you won't learn how to speak properly at all just don't worry about how everything looks and how everything sounds because just get started get going and you will learn from there tip number six i have for you is don't be afraid to get vulnerable don't be afraid to be vulnerable and don't be afraid to put yourself out there i think i am quite open and transparent on my channel that is what i want to be on my channel and you know i have a lot of mental health chats videos which are quite vulnerable i think and it's you know i i do i've opened up a little bit about my mental health and health and stuff but you know don't be afraid to be like that because People like it. People like seeing a real person behind the camera. People like seeing transparency. It's, it's relatable, do you know? Like people like to see that others, is, am I right in saying this? Like people like to see that others are going through stuff, you know? It makes you feel less alone. It's just nice when you think like I'm the only person who does this and then you watch a video about someone who also does that thing and saying it's gonna be okay and you're like, thank you i'm gonna be okay do you know so don't be afraid to be vulnerable don't be afraid to just be truly yourself because that's what people enjoy people people can see fakeness i think you know i think if you're watching someone i think you can tell if it's an act um and i never ever hope that i come across as if i'm being fake because i'm never being fake on camera i don't want to be like if i'm not in a mood to film that day i'm not gonna do it you know um that could be another tip you know only film when you're in the mood to do things because people will tell if you're slightly different and then they'll be like oh like which is the real her kind of thing do you know all i'm just trying to say is be yourself and don't be afraid to be your true 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 self number seven oh my god this is something i am still <laughs> struggling with but do not do not obsess over your analytics okay don't i uh, i have the youtube studio app on my phone and it's so easy every morning to go in and refresh it and be like, did I gain anything today? Do you know what is this video doing? Like, it's so easy to do and it's it's very easy to get caught up in them, especially if you're checking them every single day. When you get started, okay, when you're so small, like myself, nothing makes sense and things are up and down and up and down and up and down. Um, so there's no point in obsessing over your analytics. I still I still check mine like every single day on the YouTube studio app It's horrendous. I really shouldn't do it and I'm trying to be better But it's just very easy to do and it's very easy to be like, oh this video got 40 But you know my last one got 60 like what blah, blah, blah. like we're only small, right? We're only small. We're only getting started. Just don't don't get obsessed with them Yeah, look at them maybe like on a monthly basis like at the start of every month or something or at the end of every month maybe take a look see if you can figure out if something is working something's not working i actually don't even do that myself like i i don't look at them monthly i'm always just like checking them every couple of days um which isn't healthy so i just want to tell you don't obsess over your analytics because it's so easy to get discouraged okay and you don't want that you don't need that your brain doesn't need that so just look at them from time to time just to see what's going on but do not look at them daily and the last thing i have to say is just keep at it you know keep up with it yes it can be disheartening sometimes if you if you want to grow or you you know if things just seem so slow and if you think you know before you put up a video you're like oh this video is really good it's going to do really well and it doesn't like i totally get that it can be disheartening especially at the start i say this i've been uploading videos for so 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 long 
and I'm still tiny and I'm okay with that I'm okay with that because honestly I'm nearly at 300 subscribers and I'm like I, I don't think I actually want to grow anymore I'm like what I'm like no I don't want people watching these <laughs> well I'm just I'm just trying to say keep at it you know if you love doing it why stop you know if if you're really enjoying it if you start uploading and it just makes you feel good why stop you know it doesn't matter nothing else matters okay if you if you love it if you enjoy doing it if you love putting up videos putting yourself out there if you love that and if it makes you feel good there's no point in stopping so just keep at it you've got this it's as simple as starting right it's literally all you gotta do is start it's that simple it's so much easier said than done i'm very aware of this but it is as simple as just starting and you've got this and you're gonna be fab and enjoy it okay that was weird okay that's all i have to say i hope you enjoyed this video if you're thinking about starting a youtube channel i hope i got through to you and i hope you start you've got this you'll love it if you really love it enjoy it and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful thank you so 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 much for watching and if you watched the whole way through you're the best if you did like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i shall see you when i next see you